They do walk quite slowly. It's gonna take them like three years to walk across the habitat, I think. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo and Pine Brook Sanctuary. I hope you're all doing well. So we are back with our Amar Leopards who I believe are expecting a baby. Uh, let's call our keeper because they are a little hungry. Is this our female? Yes. So we are expecting an offspring very soon actually in year 36, April 36. So very, very soon. So that'll be exciting. Now, this episode is going to be about technical difficulties because I've already filmed this episode once before, um, but I lost all the footage for it. So annoyingly, it always happens to me <laughs> with these te technical difficulties, um, which is not good. Um, let's call the keeper for our water buffalo. I think our water cleanliness isn't very good over here either so we will need to put some water uh, cleaner over here um but yes so technical difficulties so i filmed the entire episode of putting in our new um african penguin which i will show you all in a moment um but i lost all of the footage so that is very annoying but it's okay it doesn't matter it will be fine um, yeah, so I'm not going to show you this at the moment. I'm going to show you what I have done so far and what is happening here, may I add. What is going on? Let's move this back. I didn't notice this the other day. There you are. It's much better. So we have had some new additions to our zoo. We have got our new little water buffalo, which is really exciting. So look at the little ears. Oh, look. Aw, oh, how cute. So I believe we only have one in here. Um, what's wrong with the habitat? Cleanliness, okay. I think we are going to need some more keepers and cleaners and maybe staff in general because we are not doing too well on the habitat cleanliness and things like that. Oh no, we've got two. We've got two babies. Two baby water buffalo. So that's really cool. So that is exciting. And I did just notice that our Amar Leopard have, has just this moment given birth. So let's see if we can find the baby. <gasps> look, there he is. Oh, look. Oh my goodness. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? That is cute. I wonder if we only have one or whether we have any more. Look, running up the hill. Okay, I'm gonna have a look because I can only find one, so maybe we only do only have one. Yeah, only one. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna put this one on contraceptive, and we're also gonna put our water buffaloes on contraceptive as well. Now, did we also have our other pea horse? Yes, we did. So we have two pea horse now, which is great. So let's go and take a little look at this one. There you are. So we have two of those. So that is really cool. Let's just say hello to some players a moment. So we can get some conservation credits. We're just gonna kind of shoot all over the map. Lovely. Okay, so now that we've caught up on some of our animals, what I did also need to find is more exhibit animals because we did have a bit of the death wave in the first recording where we had hardly any exhibit animals because they all passed away. So I do need to have a look and see which ones that we still need to get. So we need a male of that one. And I think it was a Diamondback Terrapin. Yes, where we needed a female. Let's grab a female. Okay, let's grab you. And send you to zoo. In there. And then it's just the Oxalotl. Oxalotl? I think I'm probably saying that completely wrong. That we just need a male for but these are notorious in being hard to find. I think it was, maybe it was like the episode where we did the exhibits, we couldn't find a male for those. So somebody just keep reminding me that we need a male. So overall, the zoo isn't doing too badly. So let's go and have a little look at this habitat before we put some more staff in. So I put in the African penguins. Oh, I guess I think it's underpriced. Okay, so let's do 30. 
and 25 and see how that works. Okay, let's train up some staff. We're almost at five stars for our staff, which is really good. Um, our research is also doing really well. Um, we put the Amur Leopard on research and it was done within 10 minutes because all of our researchers are really high level. So definitely train your staff if you are starting out. Now, this is our African penguin habitat. So they can have over the, uh, 500 males and 500 females. Now, obviously we're not, we didn't do that. Um, we do have six males and six females in here. Now the habitat is huge because I wasn't expecting them to be this small. I don't know what animal I was expecting or how big I thought, oh dear, or how big I thought they were going to be, but um, yeah. So this is the habitat. Let me zoom out and show you. So it, they don't like a lot of coverage for plant wise. So um, I've tried to give them as much stuff as I could. I think I have gone a bit over. I quite like it otherwise there would literally be nothing in here um so they can all dive um so they are all in here so we have have decorated with a little bit of flowers so they're all able to dive and they can kind of come up through here if they wanted to as well and dive straight back down we have a little feeder sunken into the ground there and we also have our little submarine and some other little toys for them to play with on the surface as well. Let's go back up. We have a little rubber duck over there. The guests can have a really good look from their viewpoint here. So it is also sheltered. What have you got on your heads? Oh, red crown crane hats. I never knew, I didn't know that there was a hat. Or the red crown crane, but that's cool. Their little kind of covered area, semi-covered. It's not really protecting anybody from the rain because you can see from the ground it is still coming through. But it's just something a little extra I wanted to put in for them so the guests can really come all the way out here and see them kind of dive in through the water and things like that. Now what you wouldn't have seen is I had some trouble with the path in the first episode of this I filmed. What I wanted it to be is the same kind of path layout with the otters down here. Hang on a second, I'm just gonna wait for it to finish raining because you can't see a thing. Okay, so now that it's stopped raining, what I wanted it to look like is to have this sunken path here so you can the guests can see inside the water, but the pathing system in this game was not having any of it. I don't know why or what I, tr what I did differently. I'm not entirely sure, it just would not work. Um, it just wouldn't sink into the ground and I removed the habitat gates and the habitat barriers and still nothing would work. So we had to go with plan B and have a little pathway going through the middle. Now for this particular habitat I really wanted to make it look like a bit of a beach. Um, so there's lots of sand in here like little rocks and everything and like little spots of, kind of grass growing up through. I, I did put a couple of trees in just because if you take them out there really is literally nothing in here um which is i know that's what the animals like but we do want it to make it look a little bit nicer like compared to the otter habitats and and the water buffalo habitat where it, it, there's so many plants and lots of things like that i um wanted to give them something else yep so then you could come through here and this is our little inside area um just where they can have a little sleep nothing much really in here they've got like a little water trough there um and their little kind of gone off food thing why is oh here we are the keeper's gonna fix that now <laughs> yeah so i really do hope you like that particular habitat um let me know if there's anything you think we should maybe change or anything that we could maybe put in um our education is doing a little bit better than it was before which is always really helpful um because we were struggling here this one um, to get all oh, the education boards are working somewhere they're working because um, we had zero percent for our education boards but now they seem to be working somewhere anyway so what I do want to do is put in a few more staff um, so what I might try and do is maybe get two of each staff member and then we can put them into their specific um, their work zones Two more mechanics because I've just noticed that the habitats are getting a little bit dirty. The vets are taking a while to, for them to go through. 
the keepers are getting a little bit kind of swamped with the animals' foods and the general park is looking a little bit grubby because the guests don't like using the bins. So I might actually put four caretakers in and hopefully that might help a little bit better. Um, I will put in a couple more educators just to help out and maybe a couple more vendors as well to help out with the breaks. So let's go through and put them in their work zone. Let's go back and have a little look at our penguins. I realised I showed you the habitat, but I didn't actually show you the penguins. So here they are. We do have quite a lot in here, actually. So I think once they do start having babies, it's, it's going to be madness in here with all the little ones. And maybe I should have made such a big habitat, actually, because they do walk quite slowly. It's going to take them like three years to walk across the habitat, I think. <laughs> but yeah, they do kind of just stand around, bless them. Like... They stand in the sun or they just stand in the shade. They're just happy little things, aren't they? Have a look if there's any under the water that we can see. Oh yeah, there's loads. Let's click on you. Hey, come back. Yeah, so there's quite a few of them actually swimming around, which is quite cool. And they kind of just float there or they kind of dive under. Or are you stuck, actually? You might be stuck. Let's just see. Let's just move you. Oh no, you're not. You're right. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Yeah. Oh look, there's a talk going on. They've got loads of people over at the talks which is quite cool they don't seem too stressed at the moment so we might not need to put in our two-way glass at the moment but if they do start getting stressed that's maybe something that we can consider so let's take a look at them all so here are all of our african penguins so i said in the beginning six boys and six girls i think yeah six boys and six girls um and we've already done our research on them so that is always really good now, they do, their genetic makeup ranges to being all in green to some some parts green, some parts orange, um, some parts red. Um, because there is so many, I really wasn't that bothered about the genetics being really good on all of them. Um, so, yeah, we see some of them have really high fertility, some of them don't. We should get a really, quite a broad mix of offspring. Oh, I know, I know what's happened. They are not the counters, are they? They're their actual shops. Yes, okay, that's fine. I can sort that out then. So I need to write that on my to-do list to go and sort that out. So what I think I might do in the next episode, um, it's going to be another animal again. So I am thinking we do put in possibly another deer over here, maybe like an old lichwi or um, an okapi or the oryx, oryx, orcs? Not entirely sure how you say it um but so i think possibly we might do that or if you would prefer to see something different then let me know in the comment section down below but so really sorry that this is a really quick overview of everything that's happened in take one episode um i just didn't want to upload something and like upload the next kind of video and then you'd be like hey what's what's happened here we didn't get to see the african penguins um so i just wanted to let you know what happened look they're all getting fed so yeah um i really do hope you enjoyed this kind of semi-quick episode um apologize for the technical diff difficulties and that you didn't manage to see me building this habitat um but hopefully that is the only one in Pinebrook sanctuary that we have technical difficulties for well let's they're a bit noisy aren't they let's do right thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one Bye bye